Hello, math lovers. Today's question is: Dolma and Pemba start to run from point X to point Y at speed ratio three to two. They reach point Y at the same time. Pemba then tells Dolma that after running one fourth of the total distance, he tripled his speed and ran for one third of his total travel time. After that, he again changed his speed and completed the journey. Dolma said he maintained same speed from X to Y. What is the ratio of the respective speeds of Dolma and Pemba with which they reach point Y? Okay, the master formula for this question is speed equals to distance over time. Now let's understand this question with the help of this drawing. Uh, in this drawing, we can see that uh, Dolma and Pemba start to run from point X and they reached point Y at the same time. Uh, Dolma ran uniformly throughout the journey and his speed was 3. Let his time to reach uh, from point X to point Y be T. So we use this formula speed equals to distance over time. So his total distance is 3T. Please keep in uh, mind that all these are representations of speed equals to distance over time. Uh, now coming to Pemba, uh, Pemba start, started to run with speed 2 in the first leg. He ran one fourth of his total distance uh, of uh, 3T. So his first distance covered is 3T over 4 because 3T is the total distance and uh, uh, this is only uh, one fourth part so we can keep 3t over 4 distance 2 is his speed so we can calculate this part so it comes out to be 3t over 8 then Pemba changed his speed and he made his uh, speed 6 which is already given in the question then he took uh, one third of the total time in this leg of his journey so we can keep in uh, time we can keep t over 3 in speed we can keep 6 so we can easily calculate his distance this this leg of his distance is 2t after covering his second leg he comes to the third leg of his journey in the third leg of third leg of his journey we can find out we have to find out distance and we have to find out his time so distance we can find out by subtracting this whole distance by the distance he traveled up to here so uh, up to here the distance is uh, 3t and uh, from 3t we can subtract 3t over 4 this and 2t this so we get t over 4 is uh, distance this this leg distance after finding out his distance in the third leg we have to find out his time in the third leg so the time in the third leg can be found out using the same way that is uh, we will subtract uh, the time taken from x to y that is uh, t and then from t we can uh, subtract uh, time taken in the first leg that is 3 t minus 8 and time taken in the second leg that is t over 3 so you can see that t minus 3 t uh, over 8 minus t over 3 comes out to be 7 t over 24 so we have got his distance we have got his time so we can easily calculate his speed so Pemba's third leg speed is uh, t over 4 divided by 70 over 24 which comes out to be 6 7th uh, so the ratio of the respective speeds of Dolma and Pemba with which they reach point y is 3 ratio 6 7 3 is the ra uh, speed ratio of Dolma which is which was uniform and 6 over 7 is the final speed of Pemba so 3 is to 3 uh, ratio 6 7 comes out to be 7 ratio 2 if you simplify it so the final answer is 7 over 2